Hello, everybody. Uh, this presentation will be in English today. Uh, my name is Marcello Chieberge. I am a, a professor of the Department of Electronics and Telecommunications in Politecnico di Torino. I'm the responsible, together with some colleagues of the leading and organizing the Master in Mechatronics uh, here at Politecnico, that is a master course in uh, totally in English. Um, in this presentation, I will shortly uh, present you some peculiar aspect of the of the master in mechatronics in order to to show you some uh, typical uh, aspect and issues, uh, and then uh, maybe we will have uh, enough time for some question. But uh, you know that in parallel to this presentation, there is an open room for consultancy where uh, you can go and ask uh, everything what you need, some doubts, organization, any any aspect you you uh, desire about uh, the master mechatronics. Please uh, remember uh, aspect related with didactic organization, uh, aspect related with uh, 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 courses, uh, uh, skills, uh, what happened at the end, uh, the, the, the thesis, uh, uh, connection with the, with a possible future future job, etc., uh, etc. Et Not uh, aspect related with uh, secretary issues. Okay, so here we, we try to maintain uh, the focus on uh, the uh, skills and what in, what we really do under a didactic and uh, formation point of view. So uh, briefly, uh, Megatronics uh, is uh, now is not so new. Uh, some years ago when we started, uh, the, the Master in Megatronics here at Polytechnico was something Friendly new uh, in the scientific and technological area now is uh, something really solid, uh, really recognized from uh, many point of view, and uh, essentially we uh, must deal with uh, five different areas: informatics, electrical systems, mechanics, electronics, and uh, uh, automatic control. These are essentially the, 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 the five main areas in which the, the mechatronics is organized. And we focus, we, we try to focus in uh, giving to students a uh, uh, full uh, idea of the different uh, areas in order to create uh, a technician, an engineer, that will be specialist in uh, integration of complex systems. So the key factor, the key aspect uh, of mechatronics at Politecnico is uh, really, really uh, focused and related with this kind of uh, with this kind of uh, argument and uh, with this specific target, uh, final target. So uh, you will finish the master being uh, uh, expertise in uh, uh, organizing and uh, uh, putting together many different technologies in different fields and able to talk and define a specification, define uh, technical issues, define uh, technical documents and obviously implement uh, complex machine together with your colleagues in the different uh, specific areas that you can see in this slide. Uh, as I said, now is a recognized uh, uh, scientific sector also from a, a publication point of view. So we have uh, many different uh, many different congress, many different uh, uh, place to publish articles, many different uh, uh, areas where uh, the mechatronics is really, really well recognized as a scientific sector. And uh, 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 as we said before, uh, the key factor, uh, at least here at Politecnico, is the um, the organization of the different courses in order to stress 
the link between the different areas, so electronics, mechanics, informatics, control, uh, and uh, also electrical system that are really a key part, a key factor in in this kind of uh, activity in this kind in every in every mechatronic system where you have uh, uh, the actuators, so typically electrical motors or electrical actuators, then uh, the, the power electronics able to drive the, the actuators, then uh, the ECU, the electronic control unit able to, that is a, a kind of a nervous system at the brain of the system, then the sensors, and uh, obviously on top of the uh, inside of the electronic control unit, you will have a kind of processors uh, running code, uh, so software and algorithms. And so typically uh, something really, really related with the control, the control area. So uh, every anticipating one typical question and uh, uh, one uh, uh, aspect uh, that normally is uh, really stressing you, um, when you think about the future and after the master where you will go to work and what are the, the different areas where mechatronics is important, where I can find mechatronics. And the answer typically is almost everywhere because if you think about the application uh, I, I described before, you can easily find uh, this kind of structure almost everywhere in the automotive sector, in the motorcycle, uh, in a satellite, in a robot, inside a, an industrial plant, in a robot, in a service robot, so a drone or a domestic uh, robot like the vacuum cleaner, for example, um, in the aerospace sector, in space, satellites, rockets, uh, uh, any any kind of uh, interstellar or inter interplanetary probe, uh, we have a, um, a robotic system, for example. Just think about the exploration of Mars, and you can easily find something that is really stressing mechatronics. So. Uh, the, the 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 different areas where mechatronics can be applied and where a mechatronics engineer can easily find a job are really really uh, a lot. Why uh, we are stressing this kind of we are proposing this kind of profile? The idea is that <clears throat> the focus is to be expert in interdisciplinary links. So uh, the, the, the key, the killing factor of the mechatronics engineer is that is an engineer able to link together uh, competencies, skills, and obviously technologies. And this is really important when you have to design and implement a complex system because you can easily move complexity uh, where is much more for example, cheaper or easier uh, to implement. Maybe in a complex machine, you can uh, uh, simplify the electronics uh, uh, because you can do a lot in the mechanical part or in the sensor part. Or uh, the other way around, you have a much more complex brain, electrical or electronics brain, in order to simplify the electrical actuators or the mechanical structure. So uh, the idea is that uh, if you have a, a good knowledge of every technology that is involved in a complex machine, you can easily play with this technology and move the complexity. And so the balance between the different technologies in a very easy way. And this is the key role of the uh, mechatronic engineer in any company, in any uh, team, and uh, often uh, the mechatronic engineer is the team leader because he's able to link together many different other engineers or technicians and is able to talk with them 
obviously, uh, if you have uh, to design a full electronic system, you have to talk with an electronic engineer. But maybe that kind of electronic system will be used in a much more complex system, and you know where will be used and what are the specification and why you are asking that kind of specification to the electronic engineer. So, uh, um, talking, uh, looking also at some examples, for example, uh, here you have a what I said, a, a drone, so is a typical electromechanical and a mechatronic machine, or the robotic system used for rehabilitation in medical area, or uh, robotics uh, for, uh, in this case, in this case, is a rover, a uh, pressurized rover for Mars, and so it's a mix between the robotic area and uh, uh, the automotive area, or uh, robots for domestic application, or any uh, other example in the automotive field. For example, on the left, you have a recovery, a damper uh, for uh, energy recovery. So damper is not only a damper for uh, the car, but is able to recover energy from the shaky movement of the car, or some uh, um, some uh, uh, electrical motor that are in integrated tightly integrated inside the car so many many different areas and many different examples uh, the 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 course the study course is uh, fully in english um, so is english uh, sp spoken by italian professors so uh, it's not so difficult obviously it's something that uh, want to stress the interdisciplinary and the international relation uh, of this kind of uh, uh, scientific and technological area and obviously uh, uh, all the material and all the documentation is typically in English and so uh, this is something that can help you uh, to uh, simplify the communication also with international students and uh, also to um, highlight the fact that probably in the in the first in uh, in the in the job area in the work area you will inter easily interact with many different other uh, colleagues and uh, uh, many other uh, uh, companies around the world and so starting uh, also uh, start, starting the master in uh, in english can be something that can relax this anxiety that is normal for uh, people that start something new um uh, here we we in this slide you you can find something that we already uh, described and so we are looking to uh, develop uh, skills and competencies in order to uh, build a, a technician able to uh, implement the integrated systems. And so uh, this is something that uh, can uh, uh, help you easily to understand also the structure of the of the master the access uh, to the master is uh, without any doubt uh, so um, if you enter the mechatronics uh, you uh, the mechatronics master you 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 will enter without any any problem any other course uh, uh, and you can uh, directly apply for the uh, for the courses in inside of the master in the main page uh, in the main page you can find on the Polytechnico web the four different links to four different documents where we highlighted the, the competencies and skills that we consider mandatory and important to start uh, with some uh, uh, to start easily the mastering mechatronics. Um, 
at the beginning in the, in the master, uh, the first year and the first semester, you can see that for people coming from the ICT area, uh, there are two courses uh, related with uh, applied mechanics and electrical machine. While uh, if you come from the industrial area, you have two courses related with electronic fundamental and automatic control. This X, this crossing uh, structure, is made just to equalize a little bit uh, the, the competencies of the students coming in the master, also because we do not have the bachelor uh, in mechatronics, and so we take the chance to mix together and we consider really, really important uh, uh, heritage, a, a really important heritage, uh, the, all the different skills, all the different areas uh, of the mechatronics, uh, and so it's important uh, to mix together mechanics, electrical system, electronics, control, software, etc., etc., and also, for example, in the labs, uh, because we have many labs, obviously not in this period, luckily, uh, but in the labs, we uh, really stress the idea to uh, mix. Uh, cultural heritage, so it's important to mix people, Italian people, not Italian people, um, and mixing together different uh, previous uh, bachelor experiences in order to uh, underline the importance of uh, uh, the, the dialogue between different areas in, uh, in the mechatronics area. Um, then, after this first equalization, you know, all the people uh, running all the different careers can must the choice, must make the choice between two mandatory courses. This just to give you some more flexibility in your uh, uh, in your uh, study plan. And then you will have uh, three career choices. Uh, that depend from uh, uh, the the career you 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 want to um, to follow in the mechatronics and this is something new. We designed these uh, careers uh, last year, and so we introduced five different careers in order to underline what are the five main. Uh, uh, areas, uh, at least now in mechatronics, uh, in the mechatronics scenario. So you know, we have uh, control technologies for people who want, that want to deep inside of the control area, software and uh, operating systems, uh, and this is quite clear, hardware and the embedded system for people that want to deep in the electronic part, technologies for mobility, and so this is something related with uh, innovative uh, auto automotive system and uh, industrial technologies and application for people that want to remain in the industrial area. Um, as you can see, the, the, the three choices are just related with courses uh, uh, of only six credits, and so the differences between each of the branch, each of the career is very light just to give you uh, a, a chance to deep inside of that area and to propose you a, a quite well organized uh, study plan if you want to, uh, to to deep in that kind of area then you will have as you can see the free credits um, and uh, uh, here in free credits you can put uh, every course you want to uh, to follow that is not part of the study plan in mechatronics, for example, or maybe you can choose one of the previous courses uh, that you were not able to, to, to put in your study plan. So, for example, you are following the control uh, career, but you want 
for example, to deep uh, something in uh, in the electronics, and so you want to 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 put the sensor and acquisition electronic systems. Uh, so any uh, any any course uh, can be put in the free credits. In the second semester of the second year, uh, you will have just one course, uh, one six credit course, and then the thesis. The thesis is 30 credits, so a lot, because normally the thesis is experimental and uh, uh, the duration uh, is normally something around six months, not less, uh, because you can do the thesis or here at Polytechnic or in a company or in a foreign play uh, country uh, or in a foreign company. So many different uh, possibilities. Um, as you can see, the 30 credits can be uh, divided in 18 plus 12. This is a administrative trick, let me say, because this can help you to find uh, uh, thesis uh, when you want to do the thesis in a company. Uh, sometimes the company wants to see you not as a student, as a master student, as a thesist, but as a uh, internship uh, student uh, for uh, insurance reason because they can uh, give you the access to the plants, uh, the, they can uh, put you in a project uh, uh, and so uh, they, they uh, really like if you access the company as an internship instead of a, instead as a, a master student and so we uh, found this administrative solution uh, that can give you a, a chance uh, to, to access some uh, nice place uh, uh, to do the thesis with just a, uh, an administrative trick. Um, as, I, as I said before, the occupancy after the master is very wide, uh, is, is very uh, related with many, many different uh, sectors. So from aerospace to automotive to industrial to robotics to energy. So really, really uh, uh, very wide uh, choice for you. And normally take into account that uh, you, uh, do, you will do the thesis uh, inside a company and probably that company will be your first job. And so you finish the thesis uh, and the master on uh, Friday and you re-enter the company on Monday, but uh, obviously with a different hat on, on, on your head. Uh, so uh, the, the, the possibility is, uh, the possibility to do the thesis inside a company is very important because link you, link Polytechnica with the company and you are the link. So uh, you uh, access the company still uh, during the master and uh, this is very, very, very important. Some uh, some uh, information about the, the job uh, area and so uh, some uh, important information related with the occupancy after the master and uh, this uh, information are uh, uh, very, very good. Uh, and so the, the, the first job uh, uh, normally comes in less than two, three months. And uh, if you finish the master with a good score, uh, normally the, the first job come uh, almost immediately because as I said, you finish the thesis and uh, you immediately start the job in that company. And um, uh, the feedback uh, also is very good in terms of uh, um, how efficient is the master and how is important the, the skill you uh, learn during the master for the job, the first job you, you, you have to do. Uh, so these are uh, quite good uh, information and quite good uh, score coming from the, the, the job 
area. Um, in terms of uh, numbers, uh, the master mechatronics has grown uh, very, very fast. And uh, uh, we started with uh, uh, 60, 70 students uh, six years ago. And as you can see, the growth uh, was really impressive. And luckily, uh, this year, there is a saturation because uh probably uh because of the introduction of the different career that is something quite new and so uh, maybe it was uh, not so easy to understand but luckily i'm uh, i think that this saturation is a, a good uh news for mechatronics because that uh uh, the slope of the previous years was really dangerous in terms of uh, number of, uh, of students. And uh, with that kind of number, we cannot uh, uh, ensure a, a, a good quality and a good participation to all the courses. And so I think that the number now is stabilized and is stabilized in a, in a, very, good, in a very good way. Um, Master in Mechatronics from the Bachelor, we have many people coming from mechanics uh, and obviously uh, people coming from electronics and informatics and uh, also a quite huge area uh, coming from other. And uh, in the other part, you can uh, easily find uh, other mechatronics. And so in other university, we have the, uh, the mechatronics bachelor. Um, uh, we have aerospace engineer, uh, biomedical engineer, uh, um, telecommunication, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, in terms of... Uh, collaboration we have many collaboration with companies and universities and so we can link you uh, for the thesis for example for the internship in many different areas in Italy and outside Italy uh, between the different areas to finish uh, we are just in time uh, to finish we have uh, uh, here some links um, uh, that you can copy uh, in order to send information, send a request, for example, to the uh, to the um, administrative and uh, to the technical uh, staff in order to know and to have information, more information. There is a telecom, Telegram group, and here you have a QR code related uh, uh, to the ICT days that will be uh, something similar to this presentation, but express uh, custom tailored on uh, the masters. And so we will have uh, much more time to describe uh, the peculiar characteristic of the masters in mechatronics together with many other masters uh, offered by the ICT area here at Politecnico di Torino. Okay, I finished. Here, uh, I think we can have some uh, few minutes for some questions. Otherwise, you can move on the other um, uh, other uh, room where that is still uh, active till uh, six o'clock in the afternoon, six p.m. Uh, where you can uh, easily ask uh, and you will have uh, enough time and uh, enough uh, people to answer your question. Also people that did the master is uh, still alive and <laughs> that can uh, 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 explain you better also from a student point of view, the feeling that you can have uh, entering the master in mechatronics. Thank you very much. And uh, I hope to see you in uh, at least three years uh, at the Master in Mechatronics. Bye-bye.